Hi guys, it's Sarah Davison here, the Divorce Coach. Um, as I was leaving to come out for my run this morning, um, I got a call from one of my clients and um, she said to me that she didn't feel she was coping as well as she should be. And I just wanted to say that actually feeling, you know, that you should or shouldn't be doing things in a certain way or coping in a certain way or processing what's happening right now in a certain way you know, there's, the word should is interesting. It's something that we define by what other people may tell us or what we've seen that other people might be doing. But actually what I want to say is there's no right or wrong for how you recover, for how you get through this process of, of breaking up. Everybody's different. Everyone's got different personalities. Everybody's got different situations. Everyone's got different lifestyles. Some, have, some of you will have children. Some of you won't have kids. Some of you will be your first heartbreak. For others of you, it's not so much a heartbreak, it's more getting your self-confidence back. Um, you know, everybody deals with things differently. So please don't judge yourself by what other people are doing or what other people are saying, or maybe some of the things that you might read um, or you know, where you think you, you should be by now. Having been through a really difficult breakup, several actually in my life, um, you know, it, I know that it's normal to go two steps forward and then sometimes three steps back. And that's just part of the process. And, um, you know, it's, it's normal. I don't want you to think there's anything wrong with that. It's totally normal. Um, there are things you can do, though, to get back your control. And one of those is get a good support team around you. You know, get a good group of friends. You know, not that going to pour petrol on the fire. The client this morning has spoken to a friend and she'd recommended doing something which actually in the moment may have felt really good, but actually in the long term has some repercussions that we now are kind of going to work through. Um, so, you know, choose, you know, people who maybe aren't so emotionally involved in your breakup that can help you support you through this. Um, you know, if you need legal advice, get good legal advice. If you need some financial help, even if, you know, you don't, you're scared of what you might see, then face that and get a good financial advisor on, on board. It doesn't need to be expensive, just could be, you know, someone you know that's got a friend, but get that advice because clarity gives you power and finding out exactly where you stand will decrease some of that stress and help you to cope better. So, you know, my message today is don't worry about what you should or shouldn't be doing. Trust your instinct. Um, go with where you are right now and, you know, one step at a time. Chunk it down to small steps. You know, take it, you know, one hour at a time, half a day at a time. And then as things go on, a day at a time, um, you know, and, and follow my tips for, to help you get through those days as well. Okay, thanks guys. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow.